to the nation's capital now to meet a point guard who is committed to Wake Forest. Brian Crawford has a flair for the game of basketball. Dazzling passes, pretty shots, and electrifying moves. In fact, you could say the point guard at Gonzaga College High School is somewhat of an artist. He loves to draw in his spare time when he's not on the court. He's somewhere sketching or doodling, whether it's on um, some shoes or a table, you know, something in the house. He uh, pick up a pen. If he has a pen in his hand and he feels the need that he needs to draw something, he's going <laughs> to go ahead. Uh, that's actually something I grew up uh, doing with my mom. She always had coloring books, and I was always there with her at work uh, coloring, whether it's drawing or coloring the printout she had at work and I think that's where it came from really. Perhaps Brian's best work is using the various skills he has to connect the dots on the court. A leader, a pass first point guard that can also knock down a shot and score, uh, keep everybody involved, control the floor, control the team and just a winner. I tell you what makes him special as a player is I always call him a throwback because he's one of those pass first point guards. In today's game, in a day and age of the game, you see a lot of kids who, who really score the ball from the point guard. But Bryant's one of those guys who really does a great job of making other guys around him better. He's one of those guys that would rather have 15 assists in the book versus 30 points in the book. Um, you know, he's, he, he, he can score the ball, but again, I think he does such a great job of making other guys around him better. Bryant is one of the top point guards in the nation, and it may seem as if the game has come easy to him but a torn meniscus his freshman year that kept him off the recruiting radar of many big time schools has left him with a big chip on his shoulder. I think he's a guy who's showing right now the country that you know he, he had a couple of injuries during his high school career. And right now going into the spring and summer, he's really showing everybody that he, you know, where he belongs as one of those top 25 players in the country. And in the, in, in the best of basketball for him, I think is still ahead of him. Um, and I would say that you know, a lot of the guys who, who are doubting him because of not seeing him as much in the last couple years should beware. As Bryant continues to work his way to the top, he's used to carrying a heavy burden. His father died when Bryant was very young, and his mom raised him as a single parent. At times, it was very challenging not having the male in the house. Um, you know, to do some of the things like as far as the sports and stuff were concerned. Um, and then sometimes he wanted, you know, his father there, ask questions about him, and you know, that was a tough part right there, but th through the grace of God, we got through everything. Growing up without my dad, uh, I had a lot of people around me uh, that grew up with my dad, so they left me, told me stories, stuff like that about him, and they helped me out. Uh, always taking me to the rec center and stuff like that to play with the older guys. So, although I didn't have my dad to go shoot outside in the backyard, it was always the people there to push me and to put me in position to play and, and shoot around with and stuff like that. The road to the top hasn't always been as smooth as one of his moves, but with his talent and artistry, Brian could have the basketball world in the palm of his hand. I think he's a kid who has an opportunity to play, play this game for money. At, at the highest level.